Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel Priyanka's IT School. Today I am sharing 7 tutorials on software testing on the topic Software Development Lifecycle Models Part 2 V Model. So let's understand in this tutorial some basics about V Model. In previous tutorial that is Software Development Lifecycle Models Part 1, I have already discussed importance of STLC models. So STLC that is Software Development Lifecycle is a process used by software industry to design, develop and test high quality software. STLC aim to produce high quality software that meets client expectation and there are two important categories we have for STLC models. First one is sequential development model and second one is incremental or iterative development model. V model comes under sequential development model. So let's understand what is sequential development model. Sequential model describes the software development process as linear sequential flow of activities. This means that whenever uh, any phase in development process should begin when the previous phase is complete. So sequential model are best suitable for a smaller size of application, smaller size of project where all STLC activities carried out one after another for entire project and best uh, examples for a sequential model are waterfall and v model incremental iterative model in this approach complete software requirement complete software uh, requirements get uh, divided into multiple module and as per the requirement in multiple iterations software get produced so best example for incremental or iterative models are incremental model spiral model and agile model in previous tutorial i have already discussed waterfall model incremental model and spiral model detail so please refer previous tutorial for more information and in this tutorial let's understand what is this v model so guys a uh, v model was developed to address some of the problem experience using traditional waterfall model in waterfall all activities are completed one after another and test activities only occur after all other development activities have been completed so tester involves in the project only at the last phase of development process v model follows same sequential design process okay same like a waterfall model so v model is an extension of waterfall model unlike waterfall v model integrates the test process through of the life cycle so the tester involved in the early phase of sdlc and which implement principle of early testing this shows that testing is not only an execution based activity there are variety of activities that need to be performed before the end of the coding phase so these activities again should be carried out in parallel with development activities so let's understand v model detail here in this entire design you can clearly observe where first requirement gathering is performed by BA so here user requirement get gathered from the client and BA is responsible to prepare BRS document so outcome of this phase is nothing but BRS document system analyst gather uh, those requirement analyze uh, all the software requirement uh, which generally describes functional and non-functional requirement of entire system and uh, he is responsible to prepare SRS document so outcome of this phase is nothing but SRS document high level design detailed design described by a particular technical architect and here high level which uh, always talks about overall architecture of the system and detailed design it is all about uh, we can say internal mechanism of software application so it is detailing about high level design so here you will get all the information about complete software all the module and their interaction interfaces between the module and detailed design express exactly logic and the algorithm the particular flow of entire code right so so after that developer is responsible to prepare code in particular technology so if you clearly observe this left arm indicate all the development activities now after coding test process or entire testing you know steps are bent upward instead of moving down in a linear way to form typical v-shape 
and that's the reason this model name V model. After coding, testing phase is defined in a levels of testing. So here we have four different levels of testing, unit testing, integration testing, system testing and user acceptance testing. And this entire right arm indicate testing activities. So V model left arm indicate, uh, we can say development activities and V model right arm indicate testing activities. So testing start at early stage of the project development and which avoid downward flow of the defect. So we can simply say that we can simply prevent defect in this V model because testing start early phases, right? Testing start in early, like uh, early in the life cycle. So which in turn reduce lot of rework. So once requirement were received, both development and testing team start their activities. So in V model, development activities are parallel okay these activities and testing activities are parallel so can i say development testing goes parallelly but the question is how development testing goes parallelly so here important thing we need to understand guys whenever development perform their tasks in terms of let's say ba gather all the requirement and ba prepare brs at that time testing team is responsible to review all those requirement and based on review tester or entire testing team is responsible to prepare acceptance test plan and related test cases. So these acceptance uh, test cases and entire acceptance test plan get actually validated during acceptance testing by the client. So whenever software requirement get gathered and SRS get prepared, so again testing team is involved in this phase and uh, the team is responsible to prepare review on those requirement and then very much important that is system test plan get prepared by testing team and related test cases and those test cases get actually validated based on the system test plan during system testing. Now high level design once it is completed the so based on module and their interaction testing team evaluate the entire architecture of software and team prepare integration test plan and related test cases. So these test cases based on the test plan get actually validated during integration testing. Again, once the detailed design, low level design is completed, uh, tester or complete testing team is responsible to review that design and based on that team is team prepare unit test plan and related test cases. So these test cases based on unit test plan get actually validated during unit testing. So because of this test plan we can definitely say that at the time of you know uh, requirement gathering at the time of designing at the time of coding what tester can perform tester can perform review tasks and that's the reason guys all those development activity that is left arm of V model is al always indicate verification activities. Okay, and once the plan and test cases are ready at the time of, I mean, after coding, once code is ready, complete build is ready, right? So based on that build, tester can perform validation activities. That is nothing but validation. So right arm of V model indicate validation activity. So here, let's understand what is mean by this unit integration system and acceptance testing. Guys, these are four important software testing levels. So once code is ready, so that code get first evaluated by the developer at the time of unit testing. But what is unit testing? Unit testing is a process where smaller unit, smaller component of application get tested independently or let's say in isolation. Okay, so whenever any smallest part of application tested, I, tested in isolation or independently, that is a point of unit testing. Okay, so at unit testing, developer is responsible to conduct or test that smallest part of application. Then uh, once unit testing is completed, then all the module need to be integrated with each other and we need to focus on the interaction between those modules. That is communication between those modules and that is a concept of integration testing. So integration Integration testing is a process where we can combine multiple modules together and we can test their interface. Once entire integration is complete, you will get a complete build in terms of system. So here, here at the time of system testing, tester is responsible, complete uh, testing team is responsible to test entire software for its all functional and non-functional requirement. 
after completion of final testing user and your client are responsible to perform acceptance testing so based on their requirement based on acceptance test plan they can simply evaluate the software application whether that application uh, is a is you know developed as per his requirement or not so these four important levels are important and we will see detail about this level in our future tutorial so let's understand what are the difference advantages of v model and challenges of v model so guys in v model testing start early in the life cycle and which avoid downward flow of defect so we can simply say we, defect prevention activities perform in v model and which avoid defect multiplication which helps to find defect in early stages of the life cycle so automatically less number of rework saves lot of time then testing team involves right from the requirements so any deviation of the requirements they can identify in the earlier stages v model help to assure quality project or quality product delivered to the client on time and on budget so let's understand now challenges in v model in v model initial investment is more because testing team involved right from the requirement right right from the uh, we can say early stages of sdlc again this model is not accommodate with frequent changes in requirement so it lead more documentation work and these are some important challenges we have in v model so guys can i say this model is very rigid like waterfall model and used only for small size of application and work well whenever requirements are clear so in a previous model that is in waterfall incremental spiral we have only one phase for testing but in v model which emphasizes more and more testing importance rather than other model so but again this is a sequential approach and we cannot handle you know dynamic changes in requirement so people use another model to handle dynamic change and to perform and to achieve you know uh, what you can say early testing principle that is agile model so we'll discuss uh, in next tutorial what is i mean importance of agile and the full detail about agile model so that's all for this video uh please to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more important uh, i mean notifications thanks for watching